What is up, gamers? Enforcer5150 here, and we're actually doing something a little bit different. I do this once in a while when I have a game that I like a lot. We're going to actually go through the patch notes, but later on we have something really important to talk about, and hopefully Massive is able to get this fixed. Uh, the first thing that we're going to cover is... The the performance issues. Uh, patch note says that they fixed some of the performance. As you can see there on my uh, frames per second, you can see that I'm at 68 frames per second. But then all of a sudden it does a drop and clicks off like that. And it does that quite often and it goes down a little bit lower. Uh, normally it's only about 50s and sometimes it goes down to like 40s before. After about a half hour, 45 minutes, it would go down even further. Anyway, the next thing that we have is that they fixed uh, some of the caches, the clan caches. Uh, last week, uh, I didn't get one, and it was, I think, the same for everybody else. But it was actually kind of cool that we got our clan caches for the week. And the cool thing about this is that if we actually go and look at the cache that you get... Um, you actually can get uh, higher item levels than before. So here we go. We got 465s and a 464. So and that's a weapon. And remember, with weapons, you normally only get 450. 450 was kind of the max that you were able to get before, and you couldn't really get your gear score much higher because your weapons were always uh, just 450. Anyway, I opened up another one and actually got two. 467 so in one of them uh, two of them are actually weapons so that is going to increase my gear score quite a bit and then once i recalibrate and stuff like that it'll be even higher so that's kind of cool that they have uh some of the other things is the clan ui uh as you can see on the left there uh is the oh i have these backwards <laughs> <laughs> so the old one is actually on the right side where it's kind of yellow and the left side is the new one and you know you can see here that it's kind of like a light blue i really can't tell a difference now between the clan members and not because it's just kind of the same anyway uh the next thing is the uh uh, clan XP uh, was not re re registering before and now it should register correctly and you should get all your clan XP uh, I didn't notice too much of that at one point in time. I thought it wasn't going uh, but I wasn't really paying attention enough um, the next thing that we have uh, here is actually the voice over IP and When you first started a game you ended up having it as just open there was you push to talk was not default and that was horrible because people would sit there and they would come into a game and stuff like that and you know they're Detected. they're playing their game loud like you should with a game like this you have your large booms and you know <laughs> you, you have explosions and everything but it's not very cool when it's going through your speakers as well and everybody is hearing your gameplay it's a couple of times i've had to ask somebody be like hey man can you uh turn off your push to talk because we can hear everything on your end you know people have some private conversations and stuff like that you just don't want to hear all right so the next thing we have some uh, ui changes to the payroll store and <laughs> i didn't mean to actually buy this thing uh they made it so that you had to actually hold down the button but you see how fast that was it was this crazy and i ended up buying these pants that i really didn't want to buy but it's part of the swat outfit so whatever uh, I, I only had like 200 credits that i got uh i think it was just for the gold edition i think they gave me those premium credits or i might have had them from before yeah, anyway so the next thing that we have was have uh reduced flickering uh ui flickering uh in the menu uh we also have a uh, fixed uh, visual bug that would incorrectly display a gray duplicate backpack reward when opening apparel caches. I never got that one, but it's really good that they fixed that. The next thing that I want to talk about is the skills. Uh, so they fixed a normal skill behavior when equipping a skill after having switched to a grenade. Uh, I kind of tried to check this out and I really didn't notice much of a difference. Um, but it, it seems like the, it is definitely fixed now. So that's a that's like a plus side that they're actually working on the skills. The next is fixed instances of skills going on cooldown when deploying a shield. I don't use the shield too much, but that is definitely uh, something that needed to be done. Uh, we also have a uh, fixed an issue where multiple cluster seeker mines could be deployed in short succession. That I have seen happen. I don't use I use the seeker, but I use it mostly for repair. And that was definitely a bad one that, you know, people were able to kind of exploit a little bit. And then the last thing we have on the patch notes is the mods. Uh, it says, fixed an issue where detonating a, a weapon with, or 
donating a weapon with a mod uh, attached would remove the mods from the player's inventory. Uh, so basically when you would donate your item to one of the projects and stuff like that, you would actually lose the mod. And you know, kind of the thing I liked about this one is that you didn't actually lose any mods um, like when you destroyed something like that. Uh, it's, 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 it's a minor issue. Uh, but uh, it's definitely good that they have that repaired. Now, the the bad part that I want to get to, the, the thing that is almost game-breaking in a way, uh, I wouldn't say game-breaking because I don't know if it affects PvP, but if you go from, go up to level 30 and you get 450 gear and stuff like that and you start putting in your stash and you go and create another character and you level up to say 28, 29, and then you hit level 30 and you never go through that last part that brings you into tier one. Now you can send your gear to your character and what actually, what actually happens here is you become like massively overpowered. Like, I mean, crazy overpowered. Um, and that's only in your world tier right here. So as you see here, I decided to give this a test because it happened before the patch. And I wanted to make sure it would happen after the patch before I went and reported it because I thought this was something that they were fixing. Um, as you see, that's a, a named elite right there. And he is pretty much decimated. <laughs> you pretty much can just go through everything and anything really fast. And it's only in your own world tier because I have the highest gear on. As you see, if I hit someone in the back, though, it doesn't really do that. But as soon as I get, like, a headshot or anything, body shot, it, they're dead. Like, that blue shouldn't have died that quickly. Um, but, it, like I said, it's still because of the gear that I had. And here's an elite, and he is dead. <laughs> uh, this needs to get fixed, like, really fast because this is actually kind of bad. Because what happens is I decided to play with my wife with this character. And she's in world tier four. Now I think this is happening because it's trying to bring me to the same level as her, but also make it so that I'm not being decimated myself. Um, the problem is, is that I have 450 gear on. So if I just put on 450 gear, it still thinks that I'm not wearing that kind of gear. It's not accounting for the actual gear that I'm using and the damage that I can do. Um, it's when we both got together She was actually a little bit more overpowered than she was before and that's actually kind of bad as well before the patch It was just me that was overpowered. So like I said, I I stopped playing so that I, I wouldn't You know just be totally overpowered and stuff like that as you can see here I'm not as overpowered as I was when I'm on my own world tier So it definitely makes it a little bit harder. It's def but as you can see here this this purple should not go down that quickly in one one clip and hopefully this doesn't affect pvp and conflict or anything like that you know dark zone um because you know it's supposed to be normalized and everything uh so we shouldn't see any problems in on that spot that side that's what i'm hoping anyway uh, i guess it is possible for some of the new pvp where you your gear is all that matters um but you should still be at a dark zone level so it shouldn't boost you up like it's trying to boost you here i'm gonna go ahead and uh show a little bit of the clip of my wife's point of view on this and uh some of our gameplay when she was going so you can kind of see how it should be but she's still doing a little bit more power than she originally should have been able to That's completed what does that mean Oh, did you just kill him that fast? Yeah. With your gun? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it f***ed us both up. So it made both of us, um, cannot fire a player here. So it made both of us overpowered instead of like before. So it did match us together. Detecting additional oh, contacts. Hmm. Weird. Yeah, I'm glad you're recording then. So, as you can see, she could definitely do a little bit more damage than normal. 
or how you normally would, but not as badly as how I am doing damage with my character and stuff like that. Hopefully they know about this. I'm actually going to report this before I actually upload this video. Hopefully they can get to finding a resolution to this quickly before it gets out there too much because <laughs> I'm letting everybody know about it now. Uh, seeing that I have a low, you know, low subscriber base, I'm not too worried that it's going to go flying out there too quickly. Uh, but I do want everybody to be aware of it, and you know, it, it's just, it's kind of a it, it's not really an exploit, but it is, and you really need to uh, <laughs> let uh, uh, massive and everybody know about this and have them fix this before it finds a way to be able to get exploited into PvP situations like conflict or something like that. Even though they're um, you should be uh, <laughs> normalized when you go into PvP. Anyway. Uh, that's all I have for today. I wanted to make this kind of quick. <laughs> I've had homework and work and everything else I had to do before I got this out. So I'm a little bit late to the party, but that's fine because that's what I do. Anyway, that's all we're going to do for this video. We just wanted to go through the patch notes and stuff like that. More gaming videos and tech videos are coming very soon. I try to get to them as much as I can. Make sure you hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel. Y'all take care and happy gaming.